Okay, hi, this is Paul Slackis. I'm here with the borough president of Manhattan, New York, New York, Gail Brewer. Hi, Gail, how are you? I'm well, thank you. It's a beautiful day in Carl Schurz Park and lots of great music. All righty, so, uh, you know, I've, over the years, uh, we've been so happy to have opportunities to speak with you and uh, became the borough president. We broadcast that well, wherever we can support you because I know you're such a community person. And here's another example. So tell us what's happening here today. Well, what's happening today is we are having music under the auspices of Make Music New York. Make Music New York on June 21st, the solstice, every year has free music in locations all across New York City. But on June 21, it rained. <laughs> so we, we uh, postponed it till today. And it's not raining, it's hot, but it's not raining. And people, we usually have four or five different uh, musical groups. Um, some are repeat, some are new. And we have, uh, traditionally when I was in the council, we had it in a little garden on 84th and Amsterdam. But as borough president, we're having it in this absolutely stunning spot in Carl Schurz Park overlooking the East River. And it's really beautiful. <laughs> And I've been at the 84th Street, I've been over here. I've been a lucky guy, because we are very fortunate here in New York, aren't we, to have parks? We are so fortunate, and Carl Schultz Park is one of the most beautiful. Um, it's accessible to the disabled, it has this beautiful overview and this terrace where you can have uh, concerts, and in fact the Conservancy, which runs the park, has concerts too. So we're, we're fortunate today, and we're delighted to have great music, it's all free, we have food and drink. And people are walking by, and some are coming because they heard about it. It's really a beautiful day. Gail, tell us some of the things you're really happy about happening here since you've uh, taken on uh, a big responsibility. Well, as borough president, we work a lot on uh, land use and zoning. That's probably the number one issue. We obviously appoint all the community board members and others. And we uh, uh, allocate uh, capital dollars to things like parks and schools. And then we also... Um, introduce legislation, which we can do as borough president. And then we do everything else, but I am a big believer in the arts. Big believer in arts education in the schools, and big believer of free public arts in the parks. What's good news for you? Well, today. Today's good news. And of course, I wish it could take place every day in our parks. But the good news is when people gather in a beautiful location in our city, in a park, and enjoy good music. It's very special. And the last question, just because we're so involved with world peace, and uh, have been for many years, and we've been doing a concert in Central Park uh, for over uh, 12 years, and we have Central Park again on the 20th of September, and Times Square on the, uh, on the 18th, and part of your borough as well. So, the city's peaceful in so many, so many ways. What's peace for you? Peace for me is when people from the neighborhoods get together in Manhattan or anywhere in the five boroughs and have a conversation and try to iron out problems. We've been having community police forums. We've been having forums on small business and how to keep our mom and pops. We have forums on the New York City Housing Authority with residents and NYCHA. Each one of these challenges, just like World Peace, takes a lot of effort, and it, it involves people who are impacted as well as the agencies, just like World Peace. And what's a way, just uh, an add-on, 311, what's a good way to get in touch and to learn about these kinds of things? Well, I think you can go to the our website, which of course is www.manhattanbp.nyc.gov, or you can go to the city website, which is www.nyc.gov. Gail, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Always an honor. Thank, thank you, you very much. I'm going to go back and listen to the